Insomniac Live. Welcome to Insomniac Live. We're back for another episode on this Wednesday. It's a hump day. It's a beautiful weather day, though, here in Burbank. And uh, we're going to play a game where the weather isn't quite as beautiful. It's a little snowy in the game. We're playing <laughs> Celeste today from Matt Makes Games, a game I'm very excited to try and play. My name is James Stevenson, community director here at Insomniac Games. I'm here with Joshua Noble, Hello. who's a principal artist here at Insomniac, working on Spider-Man PlayStation yes. 4. Back on the uh, chat today is Justin, so it's a whole stream of J-Dogs, as I said before we started, <laughs> awesome. and uh, it's a bunch of Jameses, and this game I hardly know anything about, except that a ton of people told me I have to play it, because someone told me it's like Super Meat Boy, but not as obnoxiously unfair, um, and that There's, alone made might, me very excited. might be a secret to your left, on the left screen, if you want to... Oh, did I miss Go a secret already? already? <laughs> so I can climb now. I didn't know how to climb before. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, okay. Off to a good start. But was there something I was supposed to get, or is it just a I don't secret? know. I think it's just introducing you to, like... Oh, that there's areas that I'm going to... There's some exploration. Mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm much better. Okay, so hello to everyone on the chat. I see Remaster Resistance and Zeke Fergie and Fergie and Cool Suffering Boy and What Gravity Live are all there. And, uh, yeah. and so we yeah. literally just started this game. I don't know, was there a story, Justin, before we get in? Is there any story that we've missed? Obviously, there was like a girl in a car. That's uh, all I know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's... I think this is the first bit of story right here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going up a mountain. That's what it is. I did <laughs> yeah. know that, actually. We have to go up a mountain. We're going up a mountain. All right, cool. So it's like ice climbers for a new generation. Yes. You know, you could get sued for that, lady. <laughs> you get sued for... <laughs> My driveway almost did you... So I like the pixel art style, but then the, the dialogue is like a much more refined, not refined, but. Yeah, it's this like very, like, I know you're saying like, it just yeah. is very high res dialogue. Like, yeah. I like that, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You might see things, things you ain't ready to see. Is Darth Vader up there? And then you get like the Snoopy, like wah, 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 wah. Oh man. I love the ha 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 though, like <laughs> yeah. actually in the pixel. Uh, Lingering Julian said my brother and I played Celeste for two hours on Sunday and it's kind of awesome. Oh, nice. So I've only played uh, about two hours of it. I have played Switch. zero hours of it. Yeah. Although we are playing on PS4, I downloaded it on PS4, and I do have a little bit of regret for not downloading it. Oh, this is where it's teaching me your dash, huh? Uh, I have a little regret about not downloading it on my Switch so that I can take it with me. Oh, you actually have to press like up and right. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like more tricky nice. than just tapping X again. Okay. Yeah, it's really pretty. The music's really, really beautiful in this game, too. You can do this. Game over Greggy. Oh, hi, Greg Miller. He says, how's that Spider-Man release date coming? Seems like you have, it, you must have it if you've got time to play games. Uh, well, Greg Miller, uh, it's always hard to steal people from their work day, like Josh, who yeah. worked through lunch so that he would have time to come and stream. Uh, because we're so busy working on it. But you know, it's Brian Intahar's birthday. So I don't want to upstage Brian Intahar's birthday today by giving you a release date. So you'll have to check back with me later. Mm -hmm. But I hope that we're still on to have wings in San Francisco during GDC uh, because you promised me wings at Dice. Nice. Uh, so hot I, wings? Yeah, we're going to go eat some hot wings right at uh, his favorite hot wing place as long as he doesn't. Uh, you know, break his promise to me to go eat hot wings. There you go. Yeah, I listen to, I listen to those guys. Yeah, they're awesome. They were... Uh, they're, there's all sorts of good stuff. Gary, what is on stuff? What does the strawberry do? Why do you have a strawberry? So the strawberries are optional. Uh-huh. Oh, if I get it... Oh. Later on, I think they act as a currency for some unlocks, maybe. But they're optional. So I feel like I have to drop and then zoom. Okay. Yeah. So you get one dash after you've touched the ground. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I got it. I figured it out. He says he'll come down and stream any any day if you need more time. 
Uh, yeah, you know. Cool, yeah. Okay, I should. Uh, reading chat while talking to Greg Miller is difficult. Um, <laughs> yeah, you. Any, again, you're down here anytime, Greg Miller, and we'll do some streaming. That's no problem. You want to come visit the office? You just let me know. Nice. We will um, make that happen. Okay. I have to give a shout out to Jim Fu. This is going to be my best man at my wedding that's coming up in July. Oh, you only can climb for so long. Yeah, oh, yeah. all right. I got what this. Jim? I got it. Oh, hey, Jim Fu. Okay, so now I need to be. Oh, man. You oh, you can it. actually kick off the walls, yeah, too. Yeah, you got wall jump. Oh, nice. Okay, all right. See, I'm already learning all Starting these things. Starting to layer things. it in. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh it flings you into it. A little it. bit of physics. Oh, and actually, wait, can I shoot straight? I can shoot straight up, too. Yeah, ah, you can go. So I can, the, I can dash in any direction. The eight directions. Okay, all right. Ooh, I think this one's teaching you patience. <laughs> That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, there you go. It teaches me momentum is what it teaches me. Uh, let's see. All right. So, so this guy... Oh, he only lasts for so long, huh? Well, so if you kill yourself, you can try him again. So this one, when you dash, he, he disappears. Ah, uh, the first time I dashed. Got it. Oh, yeah. I see. That's why it says no dashing to the right or no dashing upwards. So you have upwards. to sneak up on him without dashing. Okay, well. Oh, these come back. That's good. All right. I'm so glad you're here to explain. <laughs> With my limited knowledge of the game. Yeah, I'm getting all this motherfucker. All right. Well, I still get the strawberry though after I die, right? So I don't have to get it again. Yeah. That's nice. So That's much you, more forgiving. Once you grab the strawberry be. and then you've touched down to like solid ground, then you collect you, it. Okay. Well, which way? Wait a way. I think you have a couple. I have. I have paths. Oh god, branching paths. So I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something now, though. Okay. Oh, I have to get over those spikes. Those are she spikes. spikes. Stuff. I see a lot of spikes up there, actually. Oh. Oh, you did it. There you go. All right. You sure you haven't played this before? I'm pretty good at platformers. Like, I grew up on platformers. I feel like yeah. platformers are a lot harder for people that didn't grow up with them. And then and then I was like, oh, well, that must be a whole thing about... Okay. Right. right. I, got, I, get, I get the idea of that is, okay, now you want to bounce up. And you want to actually it's use the momentum curl of yourself. that. Yeah, yeah, up there. Totally, yeah. Although, that's... I wonder if I dash off of it. No. What are some other recent platformers that you've... I don't, played, know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what are the other recent? There's so few of them. It feels like. There's, I mean, Mario, obviously, but yeah. Um, Steam World Dig. Oh yeah, I played all the way through Steam World Dig on, my, on uh, Winter yeah. Break. I love that game. Have you played love. the second one yet? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I played Steam yeah. World Dig too. I've never okay. played the first one. Uh, yeah. I totally have only played the second one. I love, love Steam World Dig too. If you haven't played that, it's phenomenal. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that game was great. I, I did not. Is there something down here? Do I need to go down first? I should look. Oh boy. Okay, there's a platform. It usually means there's something, right? Um, no. <laughs> well, you know. All right, why not? That's the only downside about games like that, where there's like it's it's not totally clear if sometimes there's a um, if a plot if there's a something down there. You're like, is there a yeah. secret or is it death? Oh, it's death. At least yeah. it's a forgiving death. Sometimes you get lucky. But... Um, yeah, I never played the first Steam World Dig at all. I have no idea. Um, yeah, I okay. I actually played and beat that one. Um, Kind of their first go at it, but two is amazing for sure. Is there any way to actually do this? Or... So that will refresh your dash. Oh, I see. Got it. That makes sense. I was that's what I was wondering. <laughs> like this must either I'm missing the dat refresh dash tutorial or or if this is the right direction to go anyway. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. I can read some of these while you're. Oh. Under oh, the... that was tricky. Swords of Ditto. I haven't heard of that one. Is that another platformer? I haven't heard of that one either, but it probably is. Okay, so I got that thing. Oh, this must be the way out then. I'm just supposed to be... Oh, there's... Oh, oh, we got an old person to talk to. Survivor. So I never played Super Meat Boy. Uh, you never played Super Meat Boy? Oh, I love Super it. Meat Boy. Oh, it's brutal, yeah. but it's so fun. I mean, the one thing that I think Super Meat Boy did that really made brutal platformers fun is it was just like the instant respawn. Yeah. Where there was like no... And this game does it too, where it's like you die and you're it was still playing. Because like anytime you like die in like a Mario game or something, and it would take like... Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then like <laughs> reload the level Loading. and you're like, oh my god. Like just those mm -hmm. extra 10 or 15, 20 seconds is just brutal. Yeah. Um, I've played a lot of Super Mario Maker 
uh, and people yeah. just made levels for that because uh, it was just. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos of people playing insane levels. There's... Oh, there's, it's so fun to watch people just. I thought the automated ones were pretty neat too, where you just get set up to. Oh, like the kind of the Rube Goldberg yeah. machine levels. Yeah. yeah, that was what a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people made like Rube Goldberg machines that were just uh, kind of fascinating. I really want that game on Switch with downloadable levels because the 3DS be one you couldn't download levels on and if you could just like like all Nintendo needs to do is like curate like oh here's you know like oh you're going on your next trip here's like the last week of like awesome levels yep. in Super Mario Maker just download them and so like you know anytime you pick it up you've curated like a special pack of new levels like so yeah. there's always just new Mario the best new Mario levels are always downloaded and ready to go so you essentially always have these this amazing batch of Mario levels. Oh, I play. I would just. It, it would never leave my Switch. Yeah, for sure. And like also being able to do the touch screen, like on the go, you can still make levels anywhere essentially. Yeah, um, that would be great. That. I don't know. I didn't make any levels though. I wasn't really into making. I was just consuming. Yeah. yeah. What do we? It used to be great on NES era platforms. Now these platforms in the NES classic. Well, the NES ones just they're, they're not as responsive as you remember them being. Like you play now, and games are so responsive control wise that. Oh look, oh, at, that. look at that! Oh look at that! Yeah, secret passages. I'd say you're you're doing really well. <laughs> Did I already do this, sir? No, this is a different one. This huh? one's new. It just felt similar. Okay. Oh okay, I see what's going. Yeah, when I grab this, it's gonna drop. Oh, that was pretty smooth. So the real trick on this one is I need to get up into that space before it bounces back. And then oh I need to, and then I actually need to drop because I want it to fling me over here. There yeah. you go. You know, I don't really feel like I'm very skilled at video games anymore because, you know, twelve year olds kick my ass at Call of Duty or whatever. Oh, but yeah. man, you play an old platformer and like yep. there's sometimes where like I feel like I'm talented at a video game and this is one of the rare, yeah, rare that muscle times. memories. Yeah, it's just that too, so much Mario as a kid. Like another, is that is that checkpoint? That is a good question. I don't know. Am I supposed to go down? Hmm. The birds look happy though. Nope, I'm not supposed to go down. <laughs> I assume whatever I did was good. Yeah. I don't know, chat. If you guys know, let me know. Otherwise, I think we just go back because I got the strawberry. I don't think there's anything else over there. I think it's just like a bonus area. For yes, what older games do you like the most in favorites? Uh, older games, man. Mm. My, so my favorite games of all time, and Greg Miller, what are your favorite games of all time? You should type that in the chat since you missed the Spider-Man release date, and now you're just gonna have to <laughs> wait until it's officially announced. Um, like my favorite games of all time, probably Ocarina of Time, though. Breath of the Wild actually makes me reconsider that a little bit these days because I just think it's such a good Zelda game. Uh, Final Fantasy VI is one I love a lot. Um, the old, uh, oh, I thought I had that. The old Metroid game, like Super Metroid, uh, Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. You know, the Sonic the Hedgehog, like some of the Sonic the Hedgehog stuff was really great back in those days. Um, oh, I see. I want to try and like get those fast enough to get up there. So Greg Miller says Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker. Walker. Oh, yeah, Peace Walker is terrific. Legend of K is a. Uh, uh, can't read his name. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, Link to the Past. That was amazing. Um, I really liked Majora's Mask just for how different it was from the other Zeldas. Mm, yeah, I really like uh, Majora's Mask. I think is better than it's giving credit for. Um, I mean, Secret of Mana, the you know Mario Three. Um, what else? I grew. I had a Mac rather than a PC, mm. so I started on You're Marathon rather uh. than Doom. Yeah, <laughs> but I, lo I love those games. Marathon one and two. Okay, so I have to use this to recharge my thing, and then I need to drop and catch. Oof, it's gonna be. This is actually tricky because it's like you know you don't have an extra dash, but you need a dash. So you got to catch this to recharge. You got to go up there. Wow. Oh, you wow. got to go up. <laughs> you have to go up there to recharge. But then there's this little narrow thing that I really want to see what's up here. Yeah. Oh, oh, strawberry. strawberry. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I should have seen that coming, to be honest. Oh, and I should have seen that coming, too. Yeah, I started with, actually, Metal Gear Solid 4. That was when I... Was that your first Metal Gear Solid game? It was. Mm. 
I got that with the, the PS3, the 60 gig version that released with that. Mm -hmm. And that's when I got to discover some stuff I had been missing out on, like Uncharted, um, Ratchet and Clank Future, which kind of led me to, to Insomniac. Yeah. <laughs> was that really the game? Was that what made you want to work here? Was Ratchet and Clank Future? Yeah, that's when I was starting to look look to move from my previous studio. And, um, what else? Where where had you been working uh, prior to that? Uh, I was at a studio in Dallas uh, called Paradigm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool timing. Um, Do you have infinite lives? Yeah, it just respawns you. Uh, respawns you. Um, yeah, it's... The game's like... Um, it's pretty forgiving. I think there's an assist mode as well where you can give yourself possibly multiple dashes or slow down time, game time speed. Um, hey, Greg, if you want to send something to Brian for his birthday, I'd recommend either sending him Spider-Man Under Ruse, or maybe <laughs> sending him, um, maybe sending him, uh, you should do like a, you're a shirtless Spider-Man, but do like a glamour photo and sign it for him. Because I think he'd love to have a signed, framed glamour photo of you and your That's shirtless self. That, those are my initial, like, completely off the cuffs, playing a difficult platformer. <laughs> I think I might be able to just get the momentum to get up in there. Yeah, I think you can do it. Oh, see? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad Justin is on the same page as me on this. I think we need Oh, to... so close! I, so I wonder if the we should pull the room. Is it? Are you Spider-Man boxers or Spider-Man briefs? Oh, Spider-Man <laughs> boxers or briefs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a... Oh, come on! Oh, the really hitbox is so small! Like, we were intersecting, though. It's pixel accurate. Come on. Oh, <laughs> no, there was definitely intersection there. Oh. I think you gotta maybe do a wall jump. Oh, see, yeah, I hit it that time. All right. You're, maybe you're right. Maybe... Ooh. No, I don't think so. I don't think the wall jump's gonna work, because you need to go straight up and in. Maybe this a wall jump the... and then get your dash. There oh. it is. Oh, oh but oh, I need to wait. I need to it. give... I, the problem was I need to wait. I need to let myself fall down straight. Nope. Oh, and I need to get... <laughs> I need to dash sooner. Yes, you did it. That's it. Yeah, I'm... I'm good at video games. I'm good. Frame that spotty shirtless photo. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I know you guys are just friends, but yeah, you should... Definitely. Uh, yeah. Hard to do those today. Um, oh, what can you send today? That's a good question. <laughs> mm. uh, can you get him like an edible arrangement or something silly? I mean, I would say like buffalo wings, but I, like a buffalo wing arrangement, but I'm just not even sure who would deliver something like that for you or if anyone even makes a buffalo wing arrangement. A buffalo arrangement. <laughs> I love the idea of it, though. I feel like there's a business model there, Greg. Buffalo wing arrangements. Can we get your buffalo wing friends to, on that? I like that. Like, here's your buffalo wing arrangement. Okay, so I think I'm... Oh, you know what? Are you going for it? I think you, oh. gotta, you gotta hop around to the other side. Yeah, I need to get on the other side of it, but I'm trying to figure out when and where. Like, maybe if I jump so, up here... Yeah. Um... Jump up there, wait for it to drop down. Oh, I see, this is the lack of grip time. This is actually relatively... This is one where I'm not entirely sure. Sorry, oh, that was up. it. If I gripped, I would have been fine. That's what you gotta do, though. So you just gotta, like, wait till it's back over here, and then jump and down. Ah! I gotta, like... It's one of those so, tiny little things you gotta grab. Cronzy Plays mentions... Yeah, so Celeste Classic on Pico 8. So that's what? free to play online. It's, like, a, a really 8-bit version of this. You can actually find in this game. It's a little arcade version. With very similar mechanics. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yes. And now you have to get back to save wow. land. And you have a timer on your climb. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a dash either because... Uh, I think I need to get back you gotta on You got to get up there without a dash. I got to get back on this thing. <laughs> yeah, I see... This is actually really hard now. I really don't know how to get the strawberry. Like, I, I mean, I think I know. You, you got it, I think. Oh, you know what? I should have waited. <laughs> no, that's what you You're gotta so do. Close. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right. You're so close. I think if I waited. This is, this is savage. So if I go up there, I get on, I drop back onto the side. Actually, I should go up and get my dash back if I can't fast enough. 
Oh. <laughs> I have faith in you, I think I've done so well. <laughs> I need I was trying to wall kick that. It didn't work. James. Okay, let's get my dash back. Oh your hair color tells you if you have a dash, huh? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh you, you got it, you got it. Voila! Wow. Sorry that took so long. That wow. was that was the first time where I felt like I'm not actually good at this game. Okay, so this I want to have me fling, oh, yeah. fling me across. You're going to have to get a perfect... Oh, shit. So I actually have to go down underneath. So okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think you can fling across to the tunnel and then drop down and get a straight up dash. Yeah, that's what I need to... Yeah, I need to get down underneath. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Actually, can I even get across now? Maybe I can from up here. What's up here? No, no, I don't want to go over here yet. I want that strawberry. Give me the strawberries. You gotta get the strawberry. I don't know what the strawberries even do for me, but I want them. Oh. I know. Start from the right ledge and drop down, and then dash up. Wait. See what I'm saying? Like, start from the right side of the screen, drop straight down, and then dash up. Oh. But I need this momentum to get me over there. Like, if I if I jump, it will launch me, and I just need yeah. to wait and fall. But yes, like that, basically. But I need to go straight <laughs> up. It's like a matter of perfect timing. Let's see, oh, close. Yeah. Just yeah. a little more, and I'll get That'll it. Work too. Yeah, this is. Ah! Corey is busy with some work duties. Yeah, that's where Corey is. Corey is working on stuff. Oh wait, what's this? Maybe I should get this first. Oh, I can't get the. Oh, I see. I can't get, but I can't use a dash because it'll run away. Okay, that's fine. We can do this without a dash. No problem. Oh, I can't. All right. This is way easier. But it's trying to teach you the same principle here of yeah. get flinged across the level. So this is actually like the easier one. Okay, there's oh, that. Was, Got that the dash. Easy, easy. Yeah, that, that's the... This is the tutorial for this harder version of the puzzle right here. Oof. Are you still working on that guy? So, yeah. So, so the small ledge to the right, so where you just were... Oh, just drop, I see what you're saying. Just barely drop down to the left of that and then just dash, you know. Oh, that's probably a lot easier. Huh? So maybe go through the screen to the right, so when you die, you start over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I do. okay, cool. Now it I may do. be tough because you have to move you, left to go right. You got it, you got it. But maybe if I just, just gotta, drop. Just gotta get that dash up. Yes! There it is. All right. You're right. You're 100% right. That was much easier than the way I was trying to, I was trying to do it the hard way. I thought is it possible to get behind there? I bet it is. Oh yeah, you set it off. Oh. Yeah, dogs. Nice. That's right. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Ratchet and Clank was the first game where you effectively had infinite force. Let's see. I don't know. There had to have been other games with infinite lives, yeah. unless you're just talking about our games. You know, the first one I really remember that was. Super forgiving, maybe a little too much, was Prince of Persia. Mmm. Got the like the rewind thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was I the thing I like about Super Forgivingness is then it allows you to create these challenges without just infuriating people. What was that game? Was that yeah. a thousand one spikes? Was that that was another <laughs> platformer that I, I remember I got like two thirds of the way through that. That game I felt really good for about half of it. Yeah. And then and like that was better than most people from what I understood. Mm -hmm. And then about halfway through, it started getting really difficult. And about two thirds of the way through, it I couldn't get through it anymore. Like I and I, there was like one challenge in particular that I must have spent like two hours on a single level, and I was oh, like, man. all right, I'm done. That's it. All right, that's <laughs> enough. I'm. I was like swearing, and I get like Tourette's when I play these games. So this one's pretty gentle thus far because I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, can you go point. up higher on that screen on the left? Oh, that's a good point. I guess I need my boost back. There we go. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. All right, let's see if we can go down, though. Oh, no, nope, fell off the mountain. <laughs> uh, what's not untitled? Oh, you're talking to the real James Stevenson, not the James Stevenson. <laughs> okay, so I actually have to be careful because I need to dash away because this platform's going to boost me up, and then I nice. dash through, and then we're back, and we've done this already. 
Whew. which I almost got crushed by. Wait, how the hell? Oh, wait. You oh, know okay. There's a little ball. Yeah, you just can attach right there. And then I'll jump back here. That works. And then shoot up here. And I think we have to go up through here is the ultimate route. Okay. So now we have another dash puzzle. Uh, hmm. So if I jump out, grab that wall, climb up. All right. There we go. Interesting. I should be able to make this though, right? Yeah. Oh shit. I'm done. Oh. I accidentally used my dash too early there. All right. Oh, it refreshes. So, oh, but you're, I think you're okay. Yeah, I just had to wait till you get past that. Man. All right, get the dash back there. Yeah, no problem. I swear to God, guys, I have not played this game before. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I honestly have not played this game before. <laughs> I just really like platformers. They're like probably my favorite type of game. That's... I started with Mario and I'm a Mario boy forever. But this has to be... Man up. Energy drink. Everyone's gotta have an energy drink. Yeah, man. Put some, put some overcharge in there. Some overcharge. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can get any of these other ones to fall. Oh, maybe. Because that looks kind of familiar. Oh, uh, the one under the... The one on the right. Yeah, like, yeah. The, yeah they're kind of, like, bricked out. They have the yeah. snow on top, so maybe if I stand on them, or if I hang on them for long enough. Yeah. Uh. Oh man, I gotta stand on that platform. I keep thinking I get my dash back, but I have to actually stand on the platform to get my dash back. See, look, here's the same thing, right? right. So if I stand yep. right there, there it is. So there's a spot right oh. here. So now you have actually a little platform over there. Okay, but that one is spikes. Oh, I think you could... So I can't actually let that one drop, I Are don't you... think. I think you could grab that wall to the right and... Oh wait, no. No. <laughs> no, but, well... Oh, but it spikes underneath it, too. So actually, you yeah. probably do want to, so you can climb down the side of it. Okay. Raymond Legends, also good. Someone said Raymond Legends, oh, already yeah. a Mario game. But yeah, the Raymond game is terrific, was too. Yeah. Um, man, yeah, SteamWorld Dig, going back to that. Play that game if you haven't, guys. It's terrific. It's really good. I could just drop. Oh. Actually, no, I should stay on it while it falls. Yeah. And then I'll get down there, and I won't have to deal with that jump. A smooth ride. Yep, yes. and that's how you get through it. It's nice. by staying with it. Well, it falls. Okay, so okay, so this wants me to grab this thing, which is gonna fling me over to that thing. Got it. So today is Brian's birthday, is it? It is. It's Brian Intahar's wow. birthday. Uh, it is Celeste Mountain. I was like, wait, we just got to the mountain. <laughs> Okay, well, we passed the memorial. You're exhausted? Exhausted. We're only 30 minutes into the stream. What are you talking about? Game Over Greggy followed. I just saw that. Like, thanks for the follow, Game Over All Greggy. Right. Gift on the way. I'm very excited to see what this is. And uh, the Duff Stuff, thank you for the follow. And Kron Z, thanks for hosting the channel. Uh, and Desaru, yeah, I know it's Detroit. I saw Detroit talking, uh, Detroit talking to Game Over Greggy about his his uh, mock-ups, uh, which is cool. And uh, who's really busy? I don't even know. Oh, when's Brian gonna be on the stream? I actually did. Brian is really busy. Uh, he will hopefully be on a stream sometime soon, but he is really busy right now. And we actually had talked to him about doing some like Assassin's Creed Origins today. But um, oh, that would be rad. Uh, yeah, that, that, and again, there's a lot of motivation where I'm like, you know, I really want to play more Assassin's Creed Origins. So, and I know Brian's like, I really want to stream that game. I was like, huh? So you want to come in and stream it? So I have an excuse to play some more. Nice. But uh, did not happen today. So you guys didn't watch the hunter yet? We did Monster Hunter uh, with Adam Noonchester. Oh, Have you cool. been playing that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I've got like 70 hours into it. <laughs> 70 hours. So basically when you're not working on Spider-Man, yeah. you are playing. Well, it adds up, you know. This has to be a secret. Oh, yeah. A couple hours every few nights. It adds up. 
Uh, now, do you have a big crew? Are a bunch of people playing co-op together? Or are you just like solo? We stuff? actually have a uh, our internal chat. We have a, a big Monster Hunter group, but I have yet to play with anyone. It's just fun to read the chatter, though. Oh, like what everyone's been up to, what everyone's been doing. Yeah, and they will group up and play. Um, I I have it, and I just haven't gotten into it more than like when we played it on stream. Yeah, but like yeah. it's partially because I think I'm scared of 70 hour video games. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. I just unlocked the Aloy outfit from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, nice. Which nice. is really neat. God. Speaking of other games I loved recently. Oh, yeah. I still love Horizon Zero Dawn. I assume there's going to be something that happens that let me mess with these, like... So I can tell you, or I'll, or you can figure out the mechanic. <laughs> Wait, is, is, should I already know the mechanic? Uh, You know what? I think it's going to introduce Whoa, it to what? you soon. Oh, I can dash into the ground, too. Interesting. Yeah, I assume that there's something I haven't learned to do yet that I'm, they're going to teach me. Uh, Kronzi says he has 50 hours in Monster Hunter. Nice. And what, what weapon are you maining, Kronzi? Yeah, what weapon are you maining? That's, that is a good question. I think New bow. Chester was like hammer. The real James Stevenson platinumed, um, platinumed, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn last night. Oh, congrats. Which I have not platinumed Horizon Zero Dawn. I have beaten it. I haven't platinumed it. Um, I'm kind of saving the DLC for when I get some other games out of the way. Uh, I, we started the DLC on the stream when it came out, and um, we killed. Well, wow, there's there's this new dinosaur that we beat, <laughs> and it was really neat. Um, awesome. And I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and finish that at some point here. I was actually making some pretty good progress on my stack of games, uh, and then Monster Hunter came out. And I was like, I know this is gonna derail my progress, but I wanted to kind of be a part of the conversation. Yeah, for sure. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, wait, you so got this one. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I've never played Flint Hook. What is Flint Hook? That sounds familiar. I think that's another kind of side Super platformer. I probably should if it's another platformer. Maybe with a... Was, was there a grappling hook grappling platformer hook. that wasn't... Um, yeah. That wasn't Bionic Commando? I mean, I mean, I did love Bionic Commando as a kid, too. That was another game that was a super favorite of mine back then. The new dinosaur. I think they they, they just put out a stat for like how many. Oh, the end of the level falling platform. End of the screen falling platform. Brutal. Not cool. No, wow. got it. That was and that was just bad. Flint Hook should be on the stream schedule. Okay, well, we'll look at it for next week. Uh, look it up. Because we're doing a crack in time on Friday with Brian Algeyer, which Ooh. will be fun. So this mirror, I assume, is going to let me handle this sort of stuff going forward. It's about to get real. Oh, oh. Who's mirror me? Oh, no, it's like Dark Link. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we let him out of the mirror universe. What is going on? Oh, now they're colorful. Does that mean I can go through it? To Latin is B. Oh, yes! So you can gel through it. Okay, I know there's a secret down here, though. Because it was showing me that one floor down, there's... <clears throat> How do I get down to the strawberry? Uh, what if you go... What if you dash through the top of that thing? And then, like, super speed down. No? It doesn't do anything. I think you get another dash once you've gone through the gel. So maybe you get a dash dash. Oh, interesting. Well, maybe there's just a... Maybe it's just another way down there. Yeah, there may be another way down, because that was. A, I think there must be a, a third. But now we can dash through gel. Oh, wait. Does oh, someone talk to me now? Talky bubble over here. Oh, no, it's just the whole thing, because there's oh, the... See, it looks like this would be attached to this room, though, right? Yeah. Because that opening... Mm-hmm. There must be a way. I feel like the, the background art is telling you to, to move downward. Those, what are those rocks? Floating? Yeah, they're just floating. Oh, oh they're floating rocks everywhere. I guess that must be the whole like effect of this. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna skip the strawberry because I don't care that much to figure out why. Okay, whatever. We'll come back later. We'll go see what else is down here. Let's see. Assassin's oh. Creed Origin is that a trial? Oh, oh, but if you smash into a wall, you get hosed. Oh, interesting. Okay, alright, cool. Yeah, I didn't finish Assassin's oh, Creed Origin. And then, like, by, immediately behind a wall. I didn't finish it either. Like, I really want to go play. And then, like, the one thing that is a bummer for me in 
don't get me wrong, I understand why you need high level content for players, but like all the really, like some of the really big DLC stuff for Assassin's Creed Origin is all um, high level player only. Yeah, I have. So, like, it's that. like for me, it's like, oh, like I haven't finished and I'm only like, it's like, wait, I have to be like level 50 to do this? Ah, yeah. oh, no. Oh, see, that was cool. You had to like dash down and then dash. So, which uh, skill tree path did you go down? Oh god, what? Which are the different skill tree paths? There's the. I think I was more of a. I think I was focusing more on the fighting skills because I felt. Okay. I felt like I was really struggling to fight well in that game. So I went down the right side, which because I wanted to be able to tame animals. Cause uh huh. Because I thought that was pretty cool, like yep. the hunter class in yep. Warcraft. Uh, and yeah, it's fun taming rhinoceroses or tigers and setting them loose on people. The first time I did like there was a thing where there was a bunch of. There was like a hippo one where I had to go kill some hippos. It was like, yeah, uh, some of the animal stuff was really. And there was another one where was a guy who was trapped by alligators, and I was like, <laughs> and like, and those are actually kind of hard to kill if you don't have the right stuff, right? Because they're in the water, and they fight you much better in the water than you can fight them. Yeah. So I think there's actually a gap right there. Yeah, that's oh. what I thought. Hello. You gotta look for the gaps, man. You gotta look for the you gaps. Look for the gaps. All right. Uh, yeah, the combat in Assassin's Creed is really good when you get the hang of it. It has a very, like, oh, yeah. it was it, it's way better than the old Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, it was like it was one of those things that like obviously hadn't been, uh, they hadn't you know they hadn't had a need to. Oh, do I have to get these all at once, like in one uh, long chain? I don't think so. Oh, because it, it keeps oh, disappearing. Oh yeah, you're collecting some little banana coins or something. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, I like the uh, poison darts. So you could you could just. Poison one guy, and eventually the rest of the village would be poisoned. Oh, you have to get right through the center of it. Yeah, and see, it disappears. This seems like some high-level shit right here, because... I think if I don't touch... If you start from the top and work your way down... Yeah, maybe that makes more sense. I don't think I did this. this... Oh, see? Alright, it's only three of them. So if they don't explode, that's the thing. And you're definitely right, starting from the top seems... Once they catch up to you, they go away. No! Oh, what happened? I lost my ability. I think I need to land on the top of it so I can dash again. Although it looks like... Let's see, you go through it, you get a dash. So... Ah! Uh, but if I miss, you're just screwed. But I can climb on the side of it too, so let's try this. Maybe right. start with the one on the left, because it seems like the smallest target. Yes, yes! Oh! Uh, oh my gosh. I just want to know what happens when I get it. That's I'm just so curious now. Okay, let's try and go through it left-wise, watch. Oh yeah, there you go. Ah! Oh! But if you touch I, the ground, you lose it too. I think you're onto something. But I think like starting from the left and trying to follow it, like yeah. left. On the, yeah, on the right and then... Move the left. Oh, God. <laughs> this game is ridiculous, but good. Oh, but I missed! I missed! You gotta go right through the... You do have to go through the center, too. You can't... You can't screw around here. Yep. It's probably actually set up to make it, like, really easy. Like, a really easy three-step dash. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe. it is it. Oh. Oh, you can just climb, you can uh, hang on the sides and you don't lose it. Oh, so there you go. All right. So but yeah. I but then I've lost my dash at that point, so I'm I'm pretty much hosed anyway. That's But I still have a dash right now. Yeah. But now I don't have a dash. Oh, but oh, you, oh, you know what? Okay, so you're right, cuz as long as I hang here, so close. As soon as I stand on the ground, I lose it. So you can't stand. All right. All right. We're getting the mechanics down. Oh. <laughs> so close. <laughs> That's like I've had the bottom two, I've had the middle. Just nothing but the... <laughs> Just don't land on the roof. The music's really nice. I think I could listen to this while working. Pretty Guys, sweet. if I don't get this, I'm gonna scream. Oh wait, I don't have a dash. That's my problem right now. We can see how all the... Well, the PS4 controller holds up when it hits a wall. 
At least it's not an Xbox One Elite controller or something really expensive. Yeah. Oh, take it slow, dude. Yeah, you're right. I probably should slow down. Okay, this is better. So I mentioned this earlier, but uh, there's a Nintendo Power podcast that Nintendo puts out. And the, the last one, they interviewed the developers for this game. <clears throat> Some neat insight. To... What did you think the most surprising thing you heard was during that podcast? Uh, well, talking about the music, one thing that was pretty cool was uh, like the designer had, had just kind of blocked out a level without any art or anything. And the music composer went through and like did full on music that was that oh. actually inspired the design, like kind of helped drive the theme of the just by blocking out the music yeah very yeah, so. interesting you know that's not something you hear a lot uh -huh. yeah it's pretty neat. oh so if you're holding down the right stick or if you're holding down the right <laughs> trigger while you dash you'll grab on instead of dashing through the um i had that figured out i think i think i've almost got it Sorry, chat. It's supposed to be boring watching me really try to collect all three of these things, but now I'm a man on a mission. This might be your, uh, what's the, the whale? The... My, uh, my white whale. Your white whale. I'm Captain Ahab. Ahab on this one. This is it! This is it! Oh! Yes! Yes! It's just gonna be a goddamn strawberry, isn't it? Motherfucker. Unbelievable. At least you don't have a dash to get that strong. <laughs> Alright. We now know that the three green seeds, because I was sitting there like, you know what, these are just green strawberry seeds, and this is going to be really, really annoying just for a strawberry, and you know what? I was right. <laughs> it was worth it, though. But I did figure that mechanic out, so that's good. Wait, how do we do this one? This is kind of interesting. We've only seen one strawberry that we haven't gotten so far. Oh, which is just that one down in the... The one that's... Yeah. It might it's be over this way, actually. Else. There's a secret. Oh. Oh no, we already went through here. No, it must be even lower then, can because you, we went through that before. Can you down dash on that patch of dirt below you? Well, this is the room where they're actually this. This is a secret passage right here. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that was pretty easy. Yep. Now, okay, this one in the middle it. is where we need to go down, and then to the right, there should still be... There's a hidden room somewhere on the right. Oh. Okay. Hey guys, do you know what that object is that's flipping around in the lower left? Anyone in chat know what that object is? Uh, that's a VHS tape? Is it a, is it a uh, laser disc? Uh, what is it? Yeah, what, what would that be? Can anyone name that object? What's my preferred way of consuming strawberries? Do you have a preferred way of consuming strawberries? Do you slice them? Uh, in jam? <laughs> <I don't Yeah>. know. <laughs> I have, I have an answer for this, but I want to see if anyone has a better answer than I do before I give it. Okay. There's a whole new thing. It must be one of those CD yeah, things. Yeah, one of those CD things. That's yeah. one of those eight tracks, right? Uh, Hubinski, looks like a cassette tape. Yes, it is a cassette tape for sure. We have a winner. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, there was, I saw a news story about how Apple may be... Okay, so I need to do that while the pink one's out. All right. Uh, Apple may be no longer selling music on the iTunes store uh, what? soon. They may be getting ready to drop actual like downloads and sales of albums uh, wow. because they only want you to subscribe to Apple Music. Interesting. So I need to go. There we go. I know there's actually a. Uh... Oh, well done. See, actually, oh. you gotta save your dash for the. You gotta save your dash for the goo. Though I guess I get new dashes when I land, so it's probably not. A, I'm making that harder than it needs to be. What is a computer? What is a computer? I think they had the. Okay. It, right after the abacus came out, they there was a computer. Uh, Desaru says it unlocks B sides. Yes. Does anyone in chat know what a B side is? What is a B side? So patronizing for me to ask questions like this, but whatever. It's okay. What's a B-side, everyone? Anyone in the chat now? Jan3545, thank you for the follow. So we just unlocked a B-side. So is this the B-side now, or do I do something else to do the B-side? Uh, I think you later on you unlock. I don't know. I don't know. But well, you have the satisfaction of knowing you collected a cassette tape. It's after an A site. Yes, that, yes, it's not. Hubinski says when you had to flip the tape over for the rest of the tracks. Wrong! That is not true. That is not what a B site. What was the harsh wrong? Means. 
That is not correct meaning of B side. <laughs> uh, we are going way before tapes to get to the origin of B sides. It's not the other side of a cassette tape. That's not the original meaning of B side. You might think that's the meaning, but it is not. You know what a B-side is, I'm sure. Um, tell me what a B-side is. Uh, I'll wait. I'm, I'm going to give them just another chance, if anyone can explain it in the chat. Without Googling it, though, because that's cheating. We don't like dirty cheaters. <laughs> uh, Desire says it's crazy to think people may never experience physical media for games and movies and stuff now. The real question is, where the hell do I go after this? Was there somewhere out here? Is there somewhere else they're supposed to go? Because I feel like... That, that is a good question. They're supposed to go down there. Oh, this we passed before, but we couldn't do anything with. Now we can. Okay. Okay, so now we can proceed up the mountain this direction. Dazara says, except for vinyls, those are unfortunately in. Well, there's your answer, though. B-sides are from vinyls. And it used to be when you would release a single, a music single, you put a lesser song... Ooh, this is a little tricky. I guess I should get this back. There you go. That works. Uh, you put a lesser song, so when you release a single, either sometimes singles would come out after the album came out and stuff, so like, a lot of times so if like an album was just coming out, a band released their first single on vinyl, and they might release like two singles on vinyl or just one single on vinyl. Um, I think I need to go up that way though. Yeah. Um, uh, but later on, as you keep re-releasing, you know, Essentially, back in the radio days, like they would play, they would literally play on the radio the single version of your song. I guess I need to go this. I have to actually do this like that, yeah. kind of like yeah. this. Um, so they would send you, um, or so they would send out, and this I must need to go back that way first. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, who are, who are you guys? Um, so, but they would put a, eventually they started putting like, tracks that didn't make the album like the you know because you always most bands would record like 14 songs and they put 10 on the album and so then when they would release their second or third or fourth single they put a track a b-side cut because the people that bought the singles mm -hmm. it was for radio stations mainly so radio stations could play the song but then for fans who bought the single they would put uh, another track a bonus track or you know now you get remixes and stuff um, not many bands do it. It's a weird thing because now you just you're, you just release your single on iTunes or on Spotify, and yeah. it's like and you know you don't need an extra song to go with it. But it was when you had you're paying for a vinyl, so you might as well put something on the back side of it because it didn't cost you any more to it didn't cost that much more to write two things. Right. And people are gonna pay five or ten dollars for a single song, which is probably what they were paying or three or four bucks. You know, a, equi a, inflation equivalency of it. Um, you, people wanted their money's worth. So a random piece of trivia, you see how the colors are separating? Mm -hmm. So that's called chromatic aberration. Mm -hmm. And we use that trick on stuff to make it look more uh, like what you would see from a, a bad picture. How would you use that in like a like a Sunset Overdrive or a Ratchet and Clank? Like where where would that make sense? Uh, in Sunset you could use it if it like a, like a, it was a big like wham effect or something. Or um, sometimes you'll see like renderings of characters you'll uh, have that effect just mm -hmm. to kind of simulate, you know, same reason, like we don't see lens flare, but we add it to, to uh, video games and photographs um, to simulate like a, seeing it from a lens of a camera. Mm -hmm. What we're used to from like a, a film or something. Oh, she can catch me now and kill me. So I had heard that uh, some artists are starting to actually put their music out on cassettes now because it's so much cheaper than having the vinyls printed as a way to get their, their tracks out. Oh, so she's shadowing me, and if I... So it's like backtracking becomes really difficult now. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, she's yeah. trying to kill you right now. <laughs> so, I don't get the whole... So I have to wait for her to go through because she's following my exact path. Got it. Alright, cool. I get this now. Um, I don't get the whole... Even the vinyl thing, I don't entirely understand. Yeah. Because... I, I, here's what I do like about vinyl, and and why I like collector's editions of games, and why I like physical media in general. Mm -hmm. um, it's always nice to have something tangible in your hand. Cool. I, well, at least you only have to get that once, and then she doesn't bother you anymore. Oh, good point. 
because uh, I don't know if it'd be, I'm not sure if it's possible to get that. There's probably like a trophy or achievement for getting that and then getting through the level in one straight shot. Oh, it's a doorbell. That's kind of, that's a fun sound effect. Oh, come on! I was accidentally hitting up. Ugh. Um. It's about to get pretty real. I'm just going to warn you now. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> I've hit all those? Oh dear, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, so I should grab that. So I just saw that uh, they're going to release tomorrow, I guess the Transformers, the uh, first three seasons of the Transformers, they never released the music for that uh, on CD. I don't know, but they're coming out with finals for that. The yeah, so old stuff I totally get, because a lot of stuff, especially some of the older stuff that's actually mastered in analog, uh, you can get really nice uh, versions of it. And there's certainly a warmth to like a good vinyl record and a good vinyl player, and so like the stuff that was actually like cut on records and you know the vinyl masters. The problem is all modern music is mastered at these like ridiculously loud levels so that it plays loud on radio stations. Yeah. And there's just, you don't give it any advantage. Now, I do love the big discs, and I love the giant cover artwork, because, you know, that's something that feels totally lost now in mm -hmm. the realm of, like, streaming and stuff. It's like, you know, the cover artwork is just a thumbnail. Uh, oh, there's a, I gotta get the strawberry out of there before I do that. Get that um, you realize there's three of them following me now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What did I do to deserve it? I don't know if I can get this strawberry. I may just give up and let it go. Not to get all frozen here, but oh my goodness! I think I need to do that without using the last dash. Okay. Oh! Yeah, dog. All right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. All right. Be careful about not using my dash here. Oh, the art in uh, Transistor, yeah, that was beautiful. Oh yeah, Transistor's awesome. Those guys are great. Super, super giant games, right? I think that's right. I think so. was, uh, Transistor was that Bastion as well? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Greg Casavan and a bunch of people. Those uh, games are great. Yeah. Good dudes too. I think I played that one on PS4 and on my iPhone. Ooh. Please, please go, please go, please go. Oh! 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 All Wait, the way at the really? back. Oh! <laughs> see, this is this is one of those unforgiving moments where you're like you lose all of this. Um. Anyway, but I do like 4K Blu-rays because those 4K Blu-rays on I will say like I'm weirdly and and even 4K streaming is pretty good, but HD 4K HDR Blu-rays it's like you know kind of to the point where. I'm not really certain about going to movies anymore. Like, yeah. it's like <clears throat> unless it's like you know, like I'll go see Marvel movie in the theater and mm -hmm. Star Wars and stuff like that. But it's like you know, the quality here is basically. Oh my goodness! Here they come. I just saw. So I just, I just have a, an older TV at home, 1080p, and I just saw watch uh, Dunkirk mm. in 4K with HDR. It was it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's unreal, man. I, like, I watched Shape of Water this weekend, and I, oh, wow. I hadn't had a chance to go see that in the movie theater, and I was like... That's a beautiful film. I, yeah, it was a beautiful movie, and I was watching it, and I'm like, you know, like for what I pay to go see stuff in a movie theater, and this is the first time I've ever really felt it, because I never really thought 1080p movies uh, did it for me. Like, they never... Right. <laughs> so close. I know. <laughs> Uh, I was so close the first time I got down there too. That was the worst. Uh, I've never thought those were close enough, and now I'm kind of like, you know, I think it's actually like I think the HDR makes such a big difference because it's just like, you know, this looks pretty much like I think it would look at the movie theater. Like the movie theater would be a little bit better, but my sound system's close, and I can pause, and mm -hmm. it's cheaper, and I'm like, mm, you know. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but. And there'll always be a place for Star Wars and stuff. For a lot of those movies, like I watched Darkest Hour this weekend too, and it was the same thing. I just like, it's good, like, you know, obviously insane makeup on, uh, on uh, Gary Oldman, yeah, uh, to make him look uh, like Churchill, 
Oh, you actually don't have to go through for this one. Nice. Of the Oscar movies, I saw... Uh, oh, shit! Shape of Water, Dunkirk, yep. mm -hmm. um, I, Tanya. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I've heard great things about that. I'm looking forward to watching it. And, uh, yeah, I still need to see Lady Bird. I haven't seen that one. The, what, Phantom Thread. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I feel, that one I felt bad about not seeing the theater because they had the whole 70 millimeter presentations and stuff. And yeah. I do like to support that kind of stuff because I do love seeing movies on film. Because those do look way better than anything I'd see in my house. Yeah, the, what was the last 70 millimeter you saw? Uh, it was, uh, uh, Jane, or not Jane Go Chained, um, the, uh, the one, Tarantino? Yes, the yeah. Tarantino one, the Tarantino Western film after, yeah, same, uh, but I can't remember. Hateful I, Eight, Hateful, hateful eight. eight, yeah. It's Hateful Eight, that was the one I saw last. And Did I it have the one. interlude when, when yep. you saw it? Yeah. Yep, 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 and you got the program and stuff, mm -hmm. like, like, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I think movies can do. It's like, and I kind of hope, like, okay, so, like, don't make movies that are these, you know, 16 by 9, 10, 8, like, go back to making, like, big, you know, make stuff that you can't, make the IMAX stuff, like Avengers Infinity War, mm -hmm. the shot in IMAX, like, put stuff in ways I can't watch it at home, and yeah. that's, and I know, that, like, 3D was the idea behind that in some level, but it's like, that's what will get me back to the movie theater. Right. Is, uh, I, see, I can't use, I'm not supposed to use my dash there, and that's why I keep dying. So, uh, thank you. You know what I need to do is ignore... Dash to the wall on the far right. Grab that and then... How did I do this the first time? It's like so much harder now. Hmm. Actually, I need to stay all the way to the left so that I can actually catch the wall. That there was the you trick. Go. But you, you need to wait to after you get the thing because if you don't, you're... You just ran her through every single spike. On the yeah, I know, right? <laughs> there you go. All right. Gotta let her drop a little bit. The, the funny thing with Hateful Eight is, uh, and I because I had read reports that, because theaters are so unfamiliar now with, with that format, that there were a lot of technical issues. Yep. And sure enough, the theater I saw it in, there was a technical issue, but yeah. it was still really enjoyable. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, like, you know, and, and that's why they got rid of all the film projectors, is because it's like, you know, like, it's such a pain in the ass versus, you know, pressing a button, downloading onto a hard drive and sticking it in a projector and it all runs itself. Yeah. Um, but that's also why some of the presentation quality has gone down where you go to these movie theaters and you're like, yeah, like, I could watch this at home when it looks just as good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would have loved to see Dunkirk in 7 millimeter. It was on, yeah, they shot a ton of it in IMAX. Wow. It was a, So actually, that's probably the last large format film I saw was Dunkirk and, uh, about eighty percent of the movies in full frame IMAX, so, so I had a wow. city walk full frame, just like, <gasps> you know, like all the dog fighting scenes are in full frame IMAX, just unreal. I skipped that one, and when it was in the theater, because I heard it was like depressing, and I don't know, I, I'm ready to watch it again. Yeah, after seeing it the first time. I really, really liked it. My parents were out here when that came out. And my dad's a pilot, military pilot, and so we had a real good time going to see that. It's it's tense as hell. Uh, sorry I missed all the chat during those ridiculously hard sections while talking about physical media. <laughs> um, oh, talking about Shape of Water. It is a weird movie, but it's very, very beautiful. I really like it a lot. I thought it was really, really well made. But it definitely has some adult content. Uh, what did... Oh, man. There's some... There's some like Finding Nemo joke about that movie, but I don't remember what it is. There's some Finding Nemo meme where they changed the name of Finding Nemo to oh, of course to work with that movie, but I can't remember what it is now. Uh -huh. uh, when I was your age, you used to hunt our own food and cook it on a stick. James Stevenson sounds about right. We had a controller that had two buttons on. Uh huh. It. Yep. And that was it. Now, I remember my, my grandfather had a controller with one knob. Yeah, right, and then the dot. Oh, what? What the fuck? We just got eaten! Uh oh. Oh, uh, do we have to go through her guts now? Shit. It's gonna be like... Oh, uh -huh. wait. What happened? Oh, we have like a weird dream sequence now. So I don't know all the details, but I think the underlying bit of the story is that you're basically dealing with depression. Mm. You're climbing this mountain, and everyone's telling you, you can't do it, turn back. Right, turn back, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Pants Labyrinth was another good one. Yeah, I love the Hellboy movies too, which is also like, the shape of water feels like he's still kind of obsessed with the Hellboy character. Yeah. 
There's definitely like that. I wrote, I want to rewatch those. Those are fun movies. I honestly think until like recently in the second one and the second one I don't like as much as the first but the second one there's that like alien market at the beginning yeah. with like all of the practical creatures right. and CG and shit like that was probably like the best like alien menagerie <laughs> since the first Star Wars yeah. and, like if there's nothing else that was amazing about that film that sequence I was just like I remember watching it and be like oh my god there's like 40 different creatures in here that they built and yeah. no one does that anymore yeah um, except for now Star Wars does it again and they build all the cool shit but oh man just I, like, yeah. oh, I love all that stuff dude creature shops are so fun. the labyrinth uh, oh. what else was, uh, he's one of the few people that builds them like Pan's Dark Labyrinth Crystal, this the, all so like, oh yeah and then all yeah and then yeah. all the like oh yeah the, the I just watched uh, I actually rewatched watched um, Dark Crystal's the one with Bowie right yep that, and, came, uh, out in, yeah. that came out in that came out in or no, it was Labyrinth. Labyrinth was the one er, Bowie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed sorry. up. Labyrinth is the one Bowie. That one came out in 4K for its anniversary, and it's, oh, wow. it's awesome. It's like watching that, like in 4K, it was just like seeing it all like cleaned up, and you know, because I remember that movie from like TV or like a crappy VHS copy. Yeah. You know, that's how I that movie is in my head. So actually, like watching that movie, like and essentially kind of feeling like what it would have looked like on film. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh man, this was really really cool. Does that does that one have HDR? Is uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. That might put me over the edge to <laughs> finally upgrade. Yeah, dude, you got to get one of them OLEDs. Yes. They are good. No, I, I had, like, growing up, I had a slew of movies that I would just rewatch over and over. The Labyrinth, Goonies, mm. Dark Crystal, uh, Time Bandits was another one. Speaking of movies, and sorry, I know we're talking a lot about movies. You guys are like, <laughs> talk about video games. Video talk games. about Spider Man. Sorry, we can't talk much about Spider Man yet. Um,. There is a deleted scene from The Last Jedi today. Oh, we're right back at the information booth. It was released today? Yeah, that they oh. put because The Last Jedi is about to come out on digital and HD, so okay. now they're like trickling out some of the deleted scenes to promote it. But like it was a completely different end to the Phasma Finn fight that like also like talks about how my biggest complaint when I first saw Force Awakens, and they've addressed it through like comics and books, mm -hmm. is like Phasma is this like captain of the military and yeah. she's like, Oh, I'm gonna save myself mm -hmm. and like drop the shields of the base. I'm like, who does that? Right. And Basically, anything they've had to do with Phasma beyond that has had to address that bizarre decision and, like, make her character be, like, super selfish. But, like, Finn calls her out on it, and she, like, it, like, it was a great deleted scene, and yeah. they cut it only for pacing reasons, because it lasts, like, it adds, like, a minute to that fight of them, like, having dialogue about her decision at the end of Force Awakens. And, okay, I'm going to watch that. But for me, I was all, like... For all the people that were like, there's not enough plot, I have a feeling we're going to get all these deleted scenes that were like, here's all the plot that Ryan Johnson cut out of the movie at the last minute mm -hmm. to like make it actually streamlined since it's a, um, I don't know, wow, I got 14 of 18, that's pretty good. Wow. 46 de 56 deaths. That's Didn't not bad. Didn't feel like 56 deaths, did it? I think I had a few hundred. <laughs> so. Granted, I'm playing it laying sideways. <laughs> Well, you know, it's definitely having a PS4 controller being... I feel like I've got... I don't know how many chapters are there. Does anyone know? I, oh, I'm curious if I can... Anyone in chat know? Anyone in chat know how many chapters? I feel like I that was pretty, uh, pretty good around there. And we're almost at the end of time, so I don't know if we'll start a new level. Though it looks like this is the Grand Budapest Hotel. Actually, let's see, it the, does. First, let's see <laughs> the first few minutes of this. Um, and we can let Josh get back to work. So I feel like uh, Kevin Phasma, is, is she dead? I think she well could she come back because she's I think she's the idea was she's dead now like, Boba Fett came back right out of the and he did Sarlacc. come out of the Sarlacc that we now don't know that that was old canon Shredder so. came back from the garbage disposal <laughs> and Phasma got out of the garbage disposal too so uh, so I, I'm I'm unclear if she's alive or not but you know if JJ loves her enough maybe he'll bring her back yeah or if they think they're selling enough toys, or I don't know. Um, but I mean, I, I I wish I wanted more for Phasma, just like I wanted more for Fett. Yeah, it's like one of those cool-looking characters that doesn't do enough great stuff. I saw a cool Funko where someone took the Phas Phasma Funko and then took the head from her character in Game of Thrones and kind of made a mashup with that. Someone said there's eight chapters, so oh. we've only really played the first quarter. Of Jesus. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I was like, oh, I, I, I bet there's like six, and we're like a third of the way through. No, we're only a quarter of the way through. You want that strawberry. You need that strawberry. I know. I'm just really not sure how to get it. Uh, can you go up from the right side? That's what I tried. That was my initial thought was, oh, I go up and around. 
but there's no way to go up around there. Hmm. And I really don't see Is there any anything to the left more. No, nope, just drop off. Okay. I don't see a good way to get it. Oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I catch onto this. Yeah. I don't think I can grab Run it. from the platform to the right. Yeah, left. Oh, no. oh, you actually get it back between screens. Oh. I think. That might be doable, actually. So I just saw another... I watched a video before the saw mechanic where you can angle, dash down, and then jump, bounce off the ground. Oh, I, yeah, like this? Yeah. I haven't actually tried it, but... Okay, I'm done with that strawberry. I, mean, I want to see if we see this Grand right. Budapest Hotel. Now you're just leaving strawberries on the on the wayside. Oh, I gotta get the key. Oh, so now we have doors. At least I don't have that thing chasing me anymore. That was a little intense. Jump resets when you transition screens. Oh, pro That's strat. a pro strat. There's a platform above you in between the screens. It's like the Nintendo Power Hotline. Now I want to go ahead and get it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep going. Grand Budapest Hotel. All You're right. going to wake up at like 4 a.m. and thinking about Ring for service. All right. Uh, any final questions, guys, out there in the chat? Any questions you want to hear about? Doing art here in Sonmiac Games. We didn't even talk about that too much because we've just been shooting the shit and playing this game, which is really awesome. Uh, I'm not saying that just because I think I'm pretty decent at it. I know. But I am enjoying it quite a bit. I'm excited to play more on my Switch. Yeah, this is really, really good. I'm, I'm going to have to download and finish it at home. Now, have you tried Owlboy yet? No, I haven't played Owlboy yet. That's another one I was looking forward to, and I just haven't downloaded it. Was the... Is there... It's not Dragon Boy. What was the one that, um... Uh, Dragon's Crown or Dragon... Uh, you know, it's yeah. like Dragon Tail or something like that, where it's yeah. like... It's a cla it's a remaster of a classic game, and you can actually switch back and forth. Yeah. That game on the... Wait, actually, did I play that on Switch? <laughs> it's on Switch, right? Yeah, it's on Switch. Yeah, I played that on Switch. That was one of the early games on Switch. That's terrific, too. It's yeah. brutally difficult. Yeah. Brutally. I've only really played uh, 30 minutes of it, but... I really enjoyed it. There's a couple times where it gets very difficult to figure out what the hell to do. And that was my only complaint. But it has kind of that Zelda 2 feel to it, where you have, like, the town and people talking. Mm -hmm. And then there's, like, there was one time where I literally probably spent, like, a couple hours going through, like, every single screen trying to figure out what I was supposed to do next. And then I finally realized it after, like, like two days later when I was playing it and had gone through everything again, I made one more pass. I'm like, I'm going to look this up. I was trying to play this game without looking up what to do because yeah. I was trying to be like, I'm like, it. I didn't have that when I was a kid. I'm, I can't look this shit up. And then I was like, oh, I got to look it up. I have no idea what to do. And I love toggling the graphics in there. Yeah, it's really it's cool really to see cool. like, oh, especially because like, you know, there's that level of interpretation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know. need to see how they solved it, but also the nostalgia of just flipping back and forth is cool. Yeah. Even though I never played the original. Right, I didn't play the original either. That's what's so funny yeah. about it. It's like I never played this game, but it's kind of fun to see what the graphics are. And I really, like I said, I really love that. You know, even that, uh, the Halo collection, the Halo HD Master Chief, right. not the Master Chief collection, but the first Halo game that they did at HD one. Mm -hmm. There was a really nice thing where you're like looking at it. It's like this looks like how I remember Halo, but then you realize just when you would yeah. flip back and forth, like there was a ton of interpretation to make. What is that? gray texture actually look like now mm -hmm. when you put detail behind it and I think that's like a kind of really challenging thing. I guess Ratchet Remaster is a bit of that too where like yeah. here's this classic level of co-guitar but what is this actually supposed to look like? A little bit, yeah. No. Actually a lot of things. Well, yeah, when you yeah. start adding in we have to fill in all yeah. the details. Um, oh, I said remaster and remaster resistance is like, did somebody say remaster? Oh. Uh, Wonder <laughs> Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Yes, that's, that's the name it. of it. Thanks to Zaru. Um, someone said, are you going to GDC? Uh, yes, I will be at GDC. I don't know, are you going up at all? I will actually be there, yeah. Nice, are you going to be doing any, are you, are you speaking, going I'm to stuff? I'm not giving you know? any presentations, but I'm really looking forward to a lot of the presentations. And, and you'll be in the booth sometimes too? If people oh, yeah, there. yeah. So, I'll be in the booth for a total of four hours, so. Oh, nice. If you have a portfolio you want to get checked yeah, out. Yeah, portfolio reviews from Josh Noble right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't do a ton of, like, marketing games at GDC usually like that was that was a thing like seven eight years ago and it's yeah. kind of gone away but we will be up there with a booth for recruiting purposes and so people can come by and find out about jobs find out about the studio I'll be up there um, some people are presenting things I think Brian Allgaier is doing something about Ratchet and Clank mm -hmm. but it's more just it's backwards looking no new announcements don't freak out nothing <laughs> happening in GDC from Insomniac but we will be there and on the floor, so you can swing by the booth and say hi to us or uh, 
catch people at their various presentations. Um, and I think that's all the questions. Dan Turret KXX, thanks for the follow. Uh, tomorrow, North Carolina stream, 11 a.m. They'll finally be drawing the winners of that PC contest, so tune in. Sorry we didn't nice. get that Tuesday. Tim was sick, and so we delayed the draw. But we can do that because we get to change the rules if we need to. So the draw is <laughs> tomorrow. You'll want to tune in. Friday, we're going to play Kraken Time here with Brian Allgaier. And then next Monday, you're getting Adam Corleone hosting the show with Jeremy uh, on the chat because the rest of us are going to be doing some other stuff. And what are they really uh, playing? I don't even know. I need to go yell at Adam and tell me what okay. they're going to play uh, next week. So. Now, what Kraken Time levels are you guys doing? Tomorrow? We will be... So we just got through... Man, I don't remember the names of the planets. We just got through the one where you have to grow the vines. Okay. So that's the last thing we finished, or or we're in the middle of that planet. I don't know okay. what planet that was, um, what that one's called, but that's the one. Grow the, you have to go back in time, grow mm -hmm. the vines. That's where we were last time, and actually, I think we must be landing on. Maybe we actually finished that and landing on a Valkyrie ship or something like okay. that. All right, I don't remember. Cool. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there <laughs> on uh, when we get there on Friday. Nice. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Josh, thanks for taking some time out to come play with us. All right, cool. See you guys on Friday, North Carolina. We'll see you tomorrow.